and welcome everybody here on Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some teamer ramp in standard. Our next deck that we're going to be trying out, um, this is definitely something that we're, we're just you know, I'm not expecting this to be perfect or anything like that, but we're really just kind of trying out uh, some of these new cards and seeing how they look. Really, the one that we're we're mostly going with here is Dryad of the Elysian Grove. So this 3-mana 2-4 that lets you play an additional land every turn, and also all your lands are every basic land type, which that helps with Nyssa, meaning all of your lands are going to be for us. So this deck is all about just playing a lot of lands, because um, Growth Spiral... Dryad, Escape to the Wilds, all let you play extra lands. So we're trying to get as many lands as possible in play. We got 28 of them in the main deck. And then play very large Hydroid Krasis. Um, oh, also we have Nyx Bloom Ancient that will triple our mana. And then play very large Hydroid Krasis or also Explosion that can kill the opponent. Um, that's kind of like what that's kind of what we're doing. To like, since we can play an extra land every single turn, we have to have a whole lot more lands in our hand, or at least lands to play. And so I'm going to try just playing four Escape to the Wilds with Dryad of, of Elysian Grove. Um, I want to kind of combine those two together, where Escape to the Wilds, uh, you know, is basically like a five mana draw five. And if we can just play lots of lands, you know, a lot of those will be lands, we'll be able to play them. I want to just kind of try this out. Um, I'm not sure about this Euro. Um, people are saying play Euro. So we're going to play one Euro over the fourth Bone Crusher Giant, but honestly, good chance the fourth Bone Crusher Giant would be better. Um, but we'll just try one Euro because, you know, it's first day. We're going to try stuff out. Um, we also need new sleeves, or at least we need to put sleeves on here. Um, so let's do that. Let's get our Gaia's Cradle sleeves. Gaia's Cradle is all about lots of lands. Let's do that. So we'll, we're going to, and of course our, our sideboard, you know, it's it's first day, so it's like, who, who knows, really. Um, as you can see, a lot of anti-aggro stuff. I'm going to try like some Storm's Wraths against aggro, uh, Voracious Hydra, Lava Coil, um, also Ether Gust against the green or red decks. Lots of anti-aggro, because I feel like, you know, like we're, we're not interacting a lot with our opponent. Um, a lot of temples, I'm going nine temples in here, four, eight, and then a ninth, uh, because tap lands aren't so bad. Because, you know, like, if you think about turn two, when you play Grow Spiral, if you play a tap land into play, that's good. Or Dryad, you you know, for, you have three mana, you play Dryad, you get an additional land, you play a temple. It's a, another perfect time to play a temple. Or even Escape. If you, like, five mana, you tap out for Escape, you get to play an additional land, that additional land's a temple. Like, all of these, like, kind of make temples as your, like, additional land drop for the turn. Um, you have a good time to be able to put them into play. All right, so let's let's give us a try. So we're going to be going over to rank. Traditional standard ranked for team or ramp. And just kind of trying it out. Uh, I don't know if Nymph is a new creature type. I would be kind of surprised if it was, but maybe it is. I don't know. All right, so we'll start with Temple of Abandon. Look for some ramp. That's some ramp. I haven't had any disconnects today myself been uh, lucky with that. I guess a lot of other people have. <clears throat> Grixis. Uh, another Escape to the Wilds is good, but we probably don't need a second one. So we're going to need more land. I'm just going to play this Bone Crusher Giant out that they have to kind of deal with. Oh, yeah. Yara Citadel definitely had some good stuff going for it. Um, my sideboard wasn't great. 
and I didn't play perfectly. I don't want Escape to the Wilds countered. Normally I'd just be jamming Escape to the Wilds. And then if I just play another Bone Crusher Giant, they could have rituals set to clear those up. So basically just holding up Bone Crusher Giant activation. Or not activation, the whatever, the stomp. Yeah, there's a lot of good stuff with. Hmm. <clears throat> a lot of good stuff with a Yara Citadel. All right, get your resolve escape. Yes, please. I know more than you could learn in a thousand lifetimes. All right, so if we play Nessa here, we can have one, two, three, four, five, and then we have. One, two, because then I have to untap this. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So we can explosion for eight. Well, I guess explosion for ten, because we can play this thing too. Okay, we'll discard some of this, 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 maybe not that. So I could have put them down to two if I would have dealt the damage to them. But it's not like I need to be that aggressive and just try to kill them right now because, you know, we're drawing ten cards. So I think I had enough time just to kill the Ugin instead.
<clears throat> okay, so they produce three times as much mana, so each of these produce six mana now. The goose makes three, so that's nine. No, they make three times as much mana. So that's so they usually so this would usually tap for two, but two times three is six. So six, twelve, this adds three, so fifteen. So this turn I played Nissa plus Nyx Bloom Ancient. Plus I got fifteen mana. So do I escape? I'll probably escape first. So that's seven. Because the escape actually just added me mana. Because that costs five, but this thing adds six. So we just added mana there by escaping. So six. Oh, I still get another land drop. So this will add mana. This thing's not legendary. Now don't don't tap all of my green. Okay, there we go. Yeah, that'll work. So now we have so we still have five. Let's cast another one of these. Oh, man, we're going infinite. Okay, so now we're going to pay two life for this land. Wish we had a dryad so we could have all of our lands be any mana type. I don't have any more forests that are also islands. Um... So that's nine and one. Now let's just do so. That's ten. <clears throat> so we have nineteen mana now. So just seventeen mana. This is completely absurd. This is why I was saying this card is completely absurd <laughs> when we were in the... Um, I, still, I have to discard two cards? When we were at the... Uh, when we were doing the set review and y'all didn't believe me. I only have 10 cards left? All right. No, we don't we don't need Jace, we just explosion and kill him. I mean this this turn, I didn't have anything on the battlefield this turn. This turn I played Nissa and played Nyx Bloom Ancient and did all that other stuff. I didn't like I had I had just a it's not like I already won, I had a, a three three in play. At the beginning of that turn. Nyx triples all of the mana you get from any permanent. The Nissa mana was triple. Like, our. What? <clears throat> I 
Yeah, this that was just completely absurd. What we just did that turn. All right, Bone Crusher out, negate in. Um, let's go. <laughs> no, Dread Horde Butcher. I know, I wish it was Butcher of the Horde. But no, it's a Dread Horde Butcher deck. Oh, really, Mulda? Yeah, I could see that, yeah. This next Blue Machin is completely absurd. Dude, that is awesome. Thief of Sanity finally has a card style. Good. I'm glad. I thought about Thief of Sanity today. You know, when I was just kind of thinking about some decks to make. Because so I was thinking quasi-duplicate uh, with uh, Grey Merchant. You know, so quasi-dupla merchant. And so if we're going like blue-black quasi-duplicate merchant, then, you know, maybe Thief of Sanity in there. Because that's, that's another fun card to quasi-duplicate. Yeah, when you have when you play a five mana card like we just did, and then your land drop like adds mana for you, that's it's kind of silly. Oh yeah, definitely yeah, Thassa for Merchant Flickers, absolutely. Yep. Kind of just fits this turn pretty well. I wonder how much mana I spent that <clears throat> that one turn that last game. Had to have been a lot. So I played Anissa, I played two Nyx Plume Ancients, I played two Escape to the Wilds. Um, I still played a big Crisis afterwards. Shotgun here to make another food with the goose. And then I'll probably play in the stomping ground, so I'm probably just not going to play this temple. It just gives, us, gives me a lot more forests also for Nyssa. Let's be realistic, this Nissa is probably not resolving.
Try hard. Hey, what's up, boot? Yeah, I mean my 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 list with mono black wasn't perfect. I guess I need to find Krasis. Maybe I shouldn't have kept Dryad. I was just excited to see Dryad for the first time. Maybe I should not have kept Dryad. I won't play this other temple. <clears throat> uh, because we already have our scry that we want. See, it's going to be difficult for them to kill Nyx Bloom and play like a sweeper and also have a counter spell for my explosion. Oh, I, I meant to activate Guild of Goose in response while this tapped for three mana. Uh, I'm not sure yet. ARX, I'm not sure yet. Alright, so one point off lethal. So I guess I should have played the temple. I didn't really count it out. I guess I should have played the temple last turn, even though I already knew I liked the card on top. Because then I could have played forest lethal. I still feel pretty good about where we are. All right, feel better. Huh. My deck's like, no lands for you. You can see we've been we've been shocking a bunch. We've been going to a low life total even against this control deck that's not attacking at all. And an aggro deck's probably gonna give us some trouble. <laughs> that's no explosion, it's a hydrogen bomb. Well, hopefully they don't have a counter spell. Yay. So three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen. <clears throat> so let's do So fifteen mana, so Krasis for twelve. Keep a red open. It's like the worst color to keep open. Like, look at my hand. Why would they keep a red open? Going infinite. Oh, did I have red there? I guess maybe I could have... No, because I had blue open, right? So I could not escape to the wilds. <clears throat> okay, we need to draw land. Yeah. 
Yep, green still broken. <laughs> Those negates were from an escape to the wilds. These are just netting mana. Yeah, we're gonna just we're just gonna like escape to the wilds again. Okay, that was just a couple absurd games. All right, so we're good whenever whenever our opponents aren't killing us. We're looking pretty good. Yeah, that's why we have four escapes in here, because we just want infinite cards. Yep. We need, you know, five mana, draw five. It's pretty easy to play those cards. No blue mana yet. I'm going to try keeping it. We got the temple. And we got 28 lands. So we'll probably find a land. See, that's where you're wrong. You said Krasis without Nissa is fine. What about Krasis with Mixed Bloom Ancient? Take one. So do I start with Nissa this turn or escape to the wilds? We will not we'll do this. Yeah, Nisa. <laughs> no, see? Should have escaped. Stack doesn't seem super fair. I'll take out the Euro. Uro? I don't know how you pronounce that. And then uh, probably play like a Storm's Wrath. Like they're probably trying to go wide. They're probably trying to go wide. I don't know. We'll see. A Yara plus Grey Merchant was pretty sweet. Grey Merchant with, like, those two also with the 4-4 um, was really cool. 
like being able to um, you know like if you if you curve a Yara into the 4-4 four, four, the 4 mana 4-4 four, four, and then play uh, what's it called and then you play Grey Merchant that's seven drain. I mean, eight drain because of a yard. That's eight drain right there. And then you can sack Gray Merchant and you bring Gray Merchant back. <clears throat> Argudo! Welcome, Argudo. New Twitch Prime sub. Hmm. Gods bless us in our righteous cause. I'm just gonna kill this thing. I don't like them taking my cards. I'll have to figure out exactly how to deal with this. Gideon. Storm's Wrath will do 4 damage to the Gideon, but it'll be at 6 loyalty now. Alright, whatever. I will lend you my strength. You can have a Steam Vents. I guess if I wait a turn, I could Storm's Wrath plus Expansion and copy it. Or I could just go Storm's Wrath plus Goose. And then I just have Explosion for... So that'd be 5, 6, next turn 7, Explosion for 3 to kill Gideon next turn. All right, yeah, I'll just do that. Bring it on. That puts me down to one. Maybe that's not great. Anomander, thanks for the tier one sub. Prepare for battle. All right, looks like I needed to wait a turn. Yeah, this avatar is from... From the Mastery Pass. Your light will cleave the darkness. Why for loyalty? It's raining. Okay. 
Okay. Oh no. <clears throat> That's a problem. So one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Six. Rise, my elemental friend. It's kind of awkward. I, I can't really, like, to play the explosion to kill the Gideon, I have to tap the stomping ground. And then I, so then I die to the Elspeth minus. So yeah, just gonna play the crisis. It's a cool soldier token. I believe in you, friend. It's like the same pose as Elspeth with like the right leg out. Two no. <clears throat> Another Theros pack. Let's get a mythic. All right, we'll take a doggy. How much is that puppy in the window? Yeah, if they couldn't put like if they couldn't finish out the game, I, I was just gonna keep getting farther ahead. Um, I guess they weren't playing like Bone Crusher Giant or anything like that to finish the game, I guess. This hand looks awesome. This is just like exactly, oh my gosh, this is just exactly what we want our deck to be doing. Okay. <clears throat> so I could go Dryad. Huh, do I go Dryad first or Grow Spiral first? I'll probably just get Dryad in play. Uro. Does have a cool animation. Uh, 
Do I want to play this other goose? Probably not. I don't need to play it. If you're going to be able to play extra lands, you're going to need extra lands, opponent. Hmm. If I play Ancient this turn, I don't get to... I don't get to Grow Spiral. Probably should just cast this Grow Spiral, though. So that means I'm going to have to wait till next turn to Ancient. Or maybe not. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh my gosh. They're dead. What turn is that? <laughs> One, two, three. We we played Escape to the Wilds turn three, right? Yeah, so this was turn four. Because, yeah, we went turn one Goose, turn two Dryad, play an extra land. Turn three, we played two lands, then Escape, and another land. So this is turn, this is turn four. That we just played Ancient and all those extra cards. We're about to play turn five. Okay. Well... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So 21. Yeah, let's just go 19. We still have plenty of mana to work with. Well, I mean, I guess 20. We'll just do draw 10. Okay. One, two. So this nets mana. You keep figuring out how to net mana. We still have Growth Spiral. Uh, these are not great times for temples. Kind of just stuck here. Just play this, scry. Need untap land. Um, no, we're just, we'll just keep this. That's what I needed. Need on tap land. This is my turn five, by the way. 
That's the card we need. That was my turn five, by the way. <laughs> they played they played Nissa on their turn four. I just played a 2020 Krasis and then a Nissa afterwards. Yeah, that was my turn five. I went turn one Goose, turn two Dryad, turn three Escape, play a whole lot of lands. Turn four, I played that Nyx Bloom Ancient, and now I just untapped after Nyx Bloom Ancient, played a turn five Krasis for 20. Be wary of the ground you walk on. And, uh... How many lands do we have in play? 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. We have 15 lands in play. 16, this thing over here. We have 16 lands in play on turn 5. How is that even remotely acceptable? We have 16 lands in play on turn 5. Like, what? How is that acceptable? What are we doing? Oh yeah, just extra, extra land, extra land, extra land, extra land, extra land, extra land, extra. Like yeah, sure, just play all these extra lands. Why not? Okay, that's a thing. That's a thing. That's a thing. Can our opponent win now? Or do we still win? So is it better to play Ancient and then Nyssa or Nyssa then Ancient? I'm not sure if I still have Lethal or not. I haven't counted this up or anything. I guess it's got to be better to play Ancient first. Pretty sure they're still dead. Oh, I don't have Dryad. That's fine. This adds blue. We're good. Pretty sure they're still dead. I haven't counted it up yet, though. Okay, so 24, 25, 26, 27. 27 plus 9 is 36. 36 minus 4 is 32. Turn 6 kill. Even after they mass manipulation for 5. For... Still have the turn six kill. Ugh. All right, so that was just like the perfect hand for us, just all the way through. <laughs> that was just the perfect, perfect food hand for us. Oh yeah, I could have done more. You're right. I could have with one of the I I didn't use two geese. One geese could have made a food, the other could have sacrificed it. We would have netted one mana. So I could have done one extra point. So now mass manipulation is going to be a problem. <laughs> yeah, this is not this is not fair magic. So we need like negates. Counter Nissa and counter mass manipulation. Uh 
Would I rather play Ether Gust than Euro? Euro. Probably should have some Ether Gust in here. Card doesn't really seem like it matters too much. I guess maybe over two of the geese. I don't know. The geese make it us fast. I mean, there's not really other cards to take out, though. You know, like, I'm, I don't want to take out anything else. If I want to play Gus, I guess I have to take out geese. Just four temp, four breeding pool, four temple down at the bottom. No, you don't need Jace at all. You just kill him. Hmm. No ramp. We're going to have to mulligan. Yuck. I don't really want to go to five. We do have three temples. We need Oko back now. Yeah, Oko would be a little slow. I mean, I guess Oko would turn like these dryads and stuff into uh, into three threes. anything damn you hmm so do I want to play dryad temple or hold up ether gust again Come on, escape to the wilds. <clears throat> so they templed first, so they could see the top cards, so now they can just name that card. Temples are helping out, though. You know? Got rid of three of those. Three of those lands. Ugh. Use Explosion is just a draw to? I don't know about that. Uh, I yeah. It, it, last set it took a couple of days for the like after the set came out. It took a couple of days for the um, deck master to start to have the the new cards. Kind of assuming the same. Mm.
There we go. Maybe I should have just done that last turn, because then I could have, you know, like, escaped this turn. Tap all of the blue mana? Are you kidding me? Oh, right. Dry Dryad adds every color. The tide right. Um... The land fights for us. Oh, I still get another land drop? That's sweet. Alright, team of ramp is kind of ridiculous. Oh, by the way, we're playing this in ranked, of course. Yeah, this... We haven't faced, like, hy hyper aggro yet. But yeah, the stuff that we're doing with this deck is absurd. No green mana. It's interesting. We'll probably find green mana. I forgot we got, got Bone Crusher Giant in the deck. So yeah, we got that for some early defense here. Has 16 cyborg cards on Stream Decker. Oh, uh, I only had two Return to Nature. There you go. Pretty sure that was it. Control? No, I mean, that was our first matchup was Control. We... I think we're... I think we're real good against Control. I like our chances, at least. Speaking of Control, this looks like Jeskai Fires... I'm going to throw out a Bone Crusher Giant, even though it can get Clarioned. Ooh, okay. Not Jeskai Fires. Can, can, can confirm not Jeskai Fires. Just guy burn. Our twenty eight land decks not hitting land drops. Counterburn. So escape is not spectacular right now because, um, like, we probably weren't going to be able to play all five cards anyway that we were getting. So it's probably better getting that thing countered than getting Nessa countered.
But they have another counter spell, and I'm in a lot of trouble. So I guess we just play like they don't have another counter spell. Right? I guess my, my best play against the counter spell is Krasis. Right now. Or I guess even just Bone Crusher Giant's pretty good too, though, actually. All right. Yeah, we'll just do that. That is the worst counterspell for me to possibly see. Cause that because I can't expansion like my my plan was to like be able to expansion and counter their counter, but you can't do that with Essence Capture. So that was kind of my, my play whenever I went with Bone Crusher Giant. Okay. So we need to do a better job hitting land drops. Land drops very important. Uh, if you take out escape to the wild, yeah, if you, so fire, you need to replace it because you don't have, you don't have them, you don't have the wild cards. You have to play something that draws lots of cards. So whatever you replace it with, it's got, like, so like Gadwick, for example, um, I mean, it's, I wouldn't recommend replacing it. I like it a lot, but, um. Just an idea of like what what you need to replace it with something that draws cards. If you want to go cheap, you could go like Chemistry's Insight. I shouldn't play that castle from hand, obviously. Yeah, I definitely should not have played that castle from hand. I was kind of thinking I was going to go crisis, and I changed my mind. Oh, I've done the hero thing before. Well, unfortunately, I don't get to have expansion because of Teferi. Well, 
when it really worked anyway. Fairy, we don't need that. I've got it. That makes my life easier. I was gonna just explosion and kill the bone crusher giant because otherwise, you know, like that, that was gonna kill me. This does make my life easier. Can I get that? Can I get that in a gate back? Herwald, thanks for the Twitch Prime sub. Welcome to the channel. A brand new Twitch Prime sub. I am behind on the sub goal, I guess. That says it's number 17. Wow, I'm behind there. Okay. Oh, right. All the lands tap for whatever, so I don't really have to worry about it. Um, needs five cards in the graveyard. <clears throat> Can I do better than that? I don't know. That, that does sound pretty good. Ooh. This isn't a fight you can win. I've got time. I'm at nine for explosion right now. I think they have Mystical Dispute. I honestly do. That's... I think they have that. Yeah. They have Mystical Dispute. This looks pretty good for us.
I don't really need that. I mean, it does gain three life. The big question is, do they have... They do not have. Since they do, they have a counter spell. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27. Um, so if I do... So 27, let's say I do Krasis for 20. I still have five mana left over. I don't really want to expansion, like explosion, because then like if they just have a Dovin's Veto. <clears throat> All right, no Veto. All right, so th this thing's free. So now that's six, seven, eight. I'm out of land drops. Hmm. Play another one of these. Green, red, escape. Coil their creatures. I, I wanted to coil your other creature too. <laughs> All right, so game three. This deck is pretty silly. <laughs> yeah, I don't really, I don't I don't know about the Euro yet. Euro. I don't know. I don't know how necessary that card is. I just have the one in here. We're, I wasn't even going to play it, but people are like, give it a try over. And so I'm playing one over a Bone Crusher Giant. I mean, maybe we just play them all instead. Like, maybe you just don't play Bone Crusher Giants and you play Uros instead. Um, if it turns out you don't really need that interaction. You know, it's. I'm not sure. All right, so the other two dryads are down at the bottom. Perhaps I have just the trick for this. How do you 
pronounce that card? Is it Uro? Can I draw another card on their on my turn because of Narset? So we're gonna wait till their turn. Uro, okay, it's Uro. Uro. <clears throat> um... If I played the growth spiral, we wouldn't... Play the Growth Spiral. Growth Spiral is only land from hand, so it's not like I couldn't shock and then play Growth Spiral and then play the Temple the previous turn because the, t the Temple was from the Escape to the Wild, so Growth Spiral is only the land from the hand. Vetoes. These vetoes have really been crushing me. Bonus deck's pretty cool, though. You'll thank me later. No, I am not making this up as I go.
What? Oh, I can't play instance because it's a fairy. All right. Cool deck. Cool deck. GG's. All right, three and one. Yeah, a bunch of good, bunch of good cards for like right whenever I needed them. I now I wish I would have negated the Ether Gust. You know, like how I just like let the Ether Gust happen to redraw the Nissa. You know, obviously I don't, I don't know how that game's playing out, but I I wish that I would have used the negate there, and then they use another interaction spell, and then I could play something else big the next turn. You know, hindsight, all that kind of stuff. Yeah, I was definitely going to shock for the goose. I wasn't sure exactly what I was going to do after that. How I was going to plan out the turn after that. Honestly, I should probably maybe I should just be keeping that. So I can escape, I can go turn three escape. Yeah, we'll just do that. Oh, my opponent said hello. I'm sorry. Hello. Yeah, that was a cool animation with Timur right there. Uh, I don't, I don't know. I haven't played against Simic Flash or this deck. I don't know. We could play more uncounterable spells in our sideboard. You know, it's not like it's not like my sideboard is. You know, you only need these. So like, if you know, we could we could definitely put more uncounterable spells. Stuff like Chandra. Niv Mizzet. Um, Shifting Ceratops. I mean. These colors have lots of options for uncounterable spells against counterspell decks. It is pretty silly. Um, the amount of land drops you get. All right, that was a bad attack by me. I'll block here. If they want to spend three mana pump and fun lurker, I'm fine with that. Probably shouldn't shock. So I have this is six mana. 
Maybe I just escape again. I shock, I go to six. I'll be at five. That's like the only way I'm losing this. I won't shock. Oh, Grey Merchant. I guess I didn't do any Grey Merchant math this whole time. <laughs> yeah, I'm dead. I'm dead to Grey Merchant. Okay. Well, I guess you need to play Krasis this past turn, not Ancient. Yeah, I'm dead to Grey Merchant. Does not seem like my opponent has Grey Merchant, though. Which, that is good for me. So these are all forests now. <clears throat> okay. So all of these add how much mana? So those add four. The other ones add five? No, what 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 does this add? Four also? Okay, so they all add four. Is that right? That doesn't seem right. Anyway, I don't know, maybe I'll just, just tap these things. That's 34 mana. That's a lot. Rise, my elemental friend. So 38. So, 25. Alright, play that. Play Dryad. Net mana. Grow Spiral. Let's go with an... Uh, Ancient. So ten mana. I don't know how you'd even figure this out in paper if it wasn't telling you how much you got. I don't even know how you'd ever figure this out. Just netting, netting mana.
just nets us mana. You know, gain, gains us mana. Yeah, we're gonna just explosion for easily enough. Glad my opponent didn't have Grey Merchant and kill us the, the last turn. <clears throat> That's all my extra extra land cards. So 29 here, why, why don't you add some mana too? So 29 plus 18, that's uh, 39, 40, wait, 18, so 47. 47 minus 4 is 43. This was completely fair. That was completely fair. <laughs> Bring back once upon a time. You thought that like whenever we played, whenever we played Nyx Bloom Ancient, plus Nissa plus Hydroid Crisis for 38 and tapped all out except for, for what, like two mana or whatever. You thought that that was it for our turn, didn't you? But no, we were just getting started. <laughs> Team of Ramp Fair and Balanced. There you go. That's a good YouTube title. Is it, is a better YouTube title Fair and Balanced or Breaking Standard? Yeah, so we'll just play Wrath instead of Giant Call of the Day. Um, I think Stream Decker is working it. It may not, like it's, it's usually pretty slow. Hey, <laughs> you saw it here first, guys. Yeah, this is, I mean, this is like, you know, whenever we did the, the other day, whenever we did the, um, the set review, this is exactly what I was talking about, like, how that seven mana Nyx Bloom Ancient, people were like, oh, that's not a big deal, it's a seven mana card. Like, oh, it's not that difficult to get to seven mana. I want that, but I also need mana. I need a, another land. So I can play Nissa next turn. Alright, well. Yes, please. All right, now I wish I didn't put that Nyx Bloom Ancient down to the bottom. I wish I still had that. Yeah, we could we could put Fling in the deck. I mean, just Hydro Crisis with Fling. I mean, yeah, you could have Fling. But I mean, when you get to that point in the game, it's not really it's not like you're losing anyway. I don't think you have to worry about it. I think I have Death Touch. No, it has nothing. Why, why am I not attacking? It's just a 2-2. Two -two. Uh-uh. <laughs> 
<clears throat> Alright, so we're gonna have to... I don't know. Let's see. What do we get? Labyrinth of Scophos. So usually we just play the five matches. Erebos. All right, we finished out black for the mastery set. Yeah, this yeah, this deck's really broken. Um So it's 8 o'clock. Let's play let's play one more. Cuz we're just going to have the three decks today, I think. So we'll play one, we'll play another one. We lost to, yeah, we lost to a, a Jeskai Flash deck that had some good interaction, enough counter spells, countered enough things. Yeah, I don't think my sideboard's very good. Yeah. Yeah. Cyborg could definitely be approved upon. Like, two things. Like, Cyborg could definitely be approved upon for sure. I mean, it's just kind of day one that we threw together some stuff. And then two, I'm not not so sure about the Bone Crusher Giants. Maybe more Uros. Or Uru Uros? Maybe more of those. Maybe the Sweeper. Maybe just all Bone Crusher Giants, not Uros. I'm not sure. Keep. Oh, Uros not on Stream Decker? Oh yeah, I, I took out a, I did that at the beginning. I guess I didn't have it in the stream decker. There we go. It's on there now. Updated. I mean, that card's awesome, but we don't actually have more lands to play right now. When he lands. Just a dream. This is the time where temples aren't so good. But you never know. We draw an untap land. We grow spiral. Next blue mansion's currently at twenty five dollars. I mean, yeah. I mean, that seems like a just an amazing commander card, EDH card. I would be. I mean, I think that that's probably just going to be the most expensive card in the set. That makes sense. Mm. Enough temples. You know, I do need lands. <clears throat> Maybe I should have kept it. What's up, Scamden? Thanks for the tier one sub. This is what I'm I'm not sure, you know, like how we do against the hyper aggro decks. You know, like this is what we still probably need more work on. Our 18th sub of the day. Gray Merchant doesn't cost like anything in paper. It was a it was a common last time. They bumped it up to an uncommon. Yeah, so we have the Storm Wraths in the sideboard. Maybe it should just be a full four of the Storm Wrath has looked awesome. M maybe the Bone Crusher Giants in the main should just be Storm Storm Wraths, honestly. Even though it kills some of our stuff, I don't, you know. So I don't, I don't know. You know, it's just just more things to kind of test out. They had a good hand. GG. Yeah, you still do this, the Twitch Prime sub, Furion. Yeah, it should still work. 
don't know. Try going through the the link. If it works. Oh, maybe is MTG bot down? Uh, MTG bot is down, isn't it? So you can see, <clears throat> you go to our sideboard, and this is a matchup that I thought was going to be really hard to win game one, and so we're going to have to have a lot of sideboard. Man, it is. I think they're, they're servers with all these people on. It is pretty slow. So Voracious Hydras, Lava Coils, Storm, Storm's Wraths. What do you all think of Aether Gust? This matchup, probably not. No guest. Um... What all are we taking out? Do we take out Goose? Since we bring in the, the Wrath. This and Storm Wrath don't play super well together. No, I'm not I'm not gonna cut the next bloom. Cut an expansion. Cause it's still how we win, you know, like we can't we can't take out like the cards that that go over the top. We with this kind of deck, we still have to go over the top to win. And that's that's exactly what you know, like Nick's Bloom Crisis lets us do. You can't just play like a little mid range game and and try to win that way. Yeah, standard is pretty tough for the for the casual player. Yeah, yeah, the yes, it does, Furion. Yeah, the crown next to your name means you have a prime sub. Um No, so I don't you shouldn't have to buy tokens. I don't know what that's about.
Yeah, I don't, so I don't know why it's... it's. Can anybody help Therion? I don't know what, what, the, what the problem is. Honestly. The, the new Full Art Lands aren't on Arena yet. They said that they're going to be coming in a future patch, but they're not available yet. Um, they, they weren't ready, I guess, with this update. It's like, so I'd be expecting them in a, in a couple of weeks. But they're not on, not on Arena yet. Hmm. That was not a very good escape to the wilds. I really need just a lot of lands. <clears throat> yeah, I don't I don't know. Furion, like whenever you go to the sub thing, whenever you go to the sub um Hmm. Whenever you go to the thing that says sub, it should just be a there should just be an option for a free Twitch Prime sub. I don't know why that's not showing up for you. That was a great turn by my opponent the last turn, you know, Ember Cleave with Black Lance Paragon. That was a great turn. Oh no. Alright, I need to draw a sweeper. I need to draw the sweeper. Thank you. Why can't I cast this card? It's like not lit up. Can I not cast this card or something? Is there some rule that I can't cast this? It like doesn't even tap my lands or anything?
Okay, there we go. Man, still no lands. Four, five, six, seven. They didn't equip, so that means they probably are just holding Murderous Rider, which is really unfortunate because I really need a Voracious Hydra kill this. And that was just, uh, man, Rotting Regisaur plus Murderous Rider as the two cards that they have left. I can't beat that. I can't beat that. So I guess I just... I mean, I guess I just hope they don't have it. Yeah, I'm gonna just kill it with the Hydra. I get, or I'm gonna try. Ooh, not Murderous Rider. We're still alive. Still alive. Voracious Hider's been pretty sweet. Maybe we're supposed to just have more of those. Hey, thanks, Gu. If they have another... If they top-decked Blacklands Paragon... Oh, no, they top-decked Rider. Ugh. I need a double block. I was just talking through... I did... I clicked too fast on, like, the block and then just clicked submit. I clicked too fast. I was talking through how I was going to lose that. Yeah, I guess I needed I needed to needed to double block. Man, awesome awesome end of the you know, awesome last three cards to have. Good games opponent. Just great. Yeah, they their deck just looked really good. Great games. So if I would have if I would have double blocked, <clears throat> I still would have been able to play a Krasis. A larger crisis but that doesn't mean that we were gonna just survive you know if they have another card like that we're dead let's play one more i mean this deck's pretty fun to play but i'm i'm figuring out how can we survive aggro like that's aggro like that kind of matchup that's a pretty tough matchup because we were on the play there and had some good things go our way like drawing that sweeper and stuff we still lost All right, Esper Hero. <clears throat> yeah, you could you could play Flame Sweep in this this deck. It's another option. Go with the I like this the storm the storm card more, the four mana storm card, but Yeah, we're learning. We're learning. Yep, could have definitely could have blocked with both. This could get out of hand for my opponent. Hey, Therion. with double double dryad, or sorry, double hero. 
Man, our 28 land deck isn't getting there. Need 29 lands. Happy six month anniversary. There we go, Furion. There you go. Figured it out. Thank you so much for sticking with that and trying to figure that out. Oh, I love Atris. This card's so cool. Card's so cool. Where are the lands? No, I don't have a website. No. Nope. Just the YouTube channel. And the Twitch channel here. Triple hero. All right, well, this game's over. I like our chances games two and three, though. I think we can outclass a deck like this in normal games. This one is kind of the exception with us not having lands and them having three heroes. But I feel pretty good about games two and three. All right, I need to just like reset arena. This is kind of ridiculous. <laughs> yeah. Do need some Hawkeye t-shirts. All right, I'm going to switch out Bone Crusher Giant for a Sweeper. I mean, we have 28 lands already in the deck. I'm not sure if we're uh, supposed to add more. Oh, yeah, we have the Patre I have the Patreon also. Yeah, that's true. I need to write a lot more on the Patreon. That's true. No, I didn't. I don't main deck three sweepers. I just sideboarded them in. Yeah, I have the stream decker, the Patreon. You're locked out of the client right now? Hmm. I think Wyatt's probably cyborg right now. I don't I don't think I'm locked out. Hope not. But it is acting really slow for me today. With all the people. All the people playing. There are some lands. Esper Hero is a lot more difficult to beat whenever they have Hero. When they don't have, you know, on turn two. When they don't have Hero on turn two, it's a lot easier to beat that deck. So unfortunately for us, they do have Hero both games. Hopefully we get past the four mana mark this time. That would be nice. You show I've got time. Silly. All right, so I should have just stopped after the five matches. We are not getting. <laughs> this is pretty ridiculous. Twenty-eight well, lands, and we're just stuck on lands both games. 
Um, no, I don't think you'd want to play Frenzy with this kind of deck, because you need lots and lots of lands, and Frenzy doesn't really work that well with lots of lands. So I was hoping to find our sweeper with the Escape to the Wilds play. Digging five, looking for the sweeper. This thing, X5. Yeah. Listen, unfortunate match. I still think... I mean, I think that we would win this most of the time, but... <clears throat> didn't win these ones. That blocker would not have that like I couldn't I couldn't like this thing has a menace, I couldn't block this thing, which would have been the, the biggest here thing. And they have Teferi here that would have bounced my blocker. Need a sweeper. So yeah. It's kind of unfortunate our twenty eight land deck was just stuck on lands there both those games, but it happens. Okay, so you know, like, we're learning stuff. Um, but yeah, as we saw, like, from the first... Man, we need to really reset arena. From the first um, few games of this, this, this thing can do some pretty ridiculous stuff. 
So yeah, we still need we need more work on the sideboard and then uh, more work against aggro and stuff. Like Storm's Wrath looked good, but I think we need more of those. Like probably maybe even more flame sweeps and storm wraths. Like what if Yeah, like like basically maybe we need more Storm's Wraths and Flame Sweeps. Like just kind of go with like a combination of both of those. Um, but yeah, as long as we actually hit our land drops, <laughs> which I guess sometimes we don't, we're doing some really crazy stuff. Um, yeah, Furion, it's for donation decks are, are twenty dollars for for me to play through your deck through a league. It's twenty dollars. Um, the mastery tree is it worth it for new players um i don't know you can you can kind of just you can see um you know like you can just kind of go through it and look look through like all the rewards you get but um you know like you get you basically you basically get a lot of a lot of it's like card styles and yeah like you get a lot of extra card styles and everything i think if you play through the whole thing and you get through like all the way um, to like the very end. All right, this is kind of like what you can what you can get. It's so like what what you can kind of see what you would get if you play through the very end. Now this is this is already after level fifteen. So additionally from level fifteen, um, you know you're looking at nine, thirteen, uh, seventeen. Plus 31, 48, that's, you know, 48 booster packs, a lot of booster packs, like 11 rare wild cards. There's like no, no mythics, no mythic wild cards, but then yeah, a bunch of, a whole bunch of card style stuff. You get 3000 gold, 1600 of the gems back, whatever, whatever it costs. You get all that stuff. Okay. I, I don't actually want to do this. How do I, how do I exit now? I don't actually want to do this. Okay, there we go. Yeah, so it seems like a lot more than 3,400 gems. And that's that's also, again, I already went through like 15 of these levels. So that doesn't include any of these rewards from before, like another 200 gems there. <clears throat> okay, so like level 40-ish is whenever you profit. Okay. But yeah, Teamer Ramp looked awesome. It it's rough around the edges, but the whole the engine with this deck is incredible. Um needs a needs a little rough needs a little work around the edges. Alright. So those of y'all watching this later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. Leave those comments. Let me know what you think of Nyx Bloom Ancient and Dryad of the Elysian Grove, all the crazy stuff that we were doing. Yeah, uh, yeah, leave those comments. All right, but thank you so much for watching. So, Team Ramp, and I'll see you for the next video.